And so what we want to start with are comps. So, somebody please. When do real estate investors make money? Anybody, please? When they buy it, right? Who sets the value of your flip house when you sell it? The market, right? How is the sales price determined? Comps. Active sales. What's the game show where people, you know, you got to guess what's the uh, on the chart? You get you got two people competing against each other, and there's always the number one choice. No, no. Thank you. Thank you very much. You all got absolutely number one in all three of those categories. The problem is, I believe that they're wrong, and it's not that they're wrong because that's what the industry, the education that goes on in most of the real meetings, is telling you. Because that's the standard by which it works. But I want you to think in terms of your living in the matrix, and we are showing you a different way tonight. I want you to think about what I'm saying, because I have seen that what I'm saying will make you money if you pay attention. Real estate investors make money in the future. The appraiser and or lender sets the value of your property. And how is the sales price determined? The appraiser uses something called the Uniform Mortgage Data Program. And do we have an appraiser in the room? Yes. Used to be one appraiser right back here. Are you doing residential appraisals and commercial? Just residential. Are you doing the black box where you uh, just bid in and, um, or do you have a minimum? Which, how do you do your appraisals? Uh, sales comparison approach. I do. But when you bid on an appraisal, are you just bidding into a black box and then they, at the lowest dollar, you'll bid to do $250 or you'll do $300 or? Uh, it depends, I guess. I bid on uh, properties, but I also, they'll just say, would you take it for this much? Excellent. And the reason that that's important, everybody in this room, I suggest, um, write down Uniform Mortgage Data Program, UMPD, UMDP. Go to YouTube, there's all kinds of videos. Um, I did this presentation, the, the meeting that we, the presentation we've tonight is a compilation of about seven different meetings that we've done in a workshop in Knoxville. So uh, this particular present, uh, uh, discussion of comps came up in 2011 at the meeting when the Uniform Mortgage Data Program was just getting rolled out. And the Uniform Mortgage Data Program is a giant uh, data mining uh, drop down list that all appraisers have to use that are doing any type of government service, GSE, Fannie, Freddie, uh, HUD, uh, USDA loan, and most lenders now require. So the issue of when investors make money, when are comps? That came out earlier tonight. When, 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 what are considered really good comps? Really good comps. I'm sorry? Three months. Three months. Nearby. Nearby. On the same street would be perfect, wouldn't it? Not reality. When did those sales occur? In the past. When are you going to sell your property? So it doesn't make any difference what the comps were. Because you're having to identify a time certain in the future that you're going to sell. You are looking at uh, the thought process from the way in which it is done to protect the lender. The lender is looking for what happened in the past so that they've got something to judge what they want to loan you money on based on a form that the appraiser fills out. So. Uh, we're going to go through this really quick because I'm going to try to get on all these topics, uh, but I, we can do hours just on appraisal theory because what happens is once you understand how the Uniform Mortgage Data Program works and you understand the drop-down list, and, there, and I'm telling you, those of you who will do this will make money with this. We had an investor in Knoxville um, that uh, just made $40,000 by being able to go back and negotiate with their appraiser 
based on the pictures that they had taken and the information that they had done and the way that they had had their repairs, uh, their renovations and repairs documented by the people doing the work. It was a change of $40,000 because they could prove that they had moved interior walls and that they had redone the subfloor and the floor trusses to the kitchen area of the house. $40,000 change because they took good notes.